Politicians involved in gun law protests say their sit-in is over, but that the fight will carry on. Well, members of the House of Representatives had been sitting on the chamber floor, protesting at the lack of action on gun control measures. Well, broadcast and radio host Stephen Crowder joins us via Skype now from Texas. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, the speaker described it as a publicity stunt, but what publicity? Well, it depends, I guess, on your perspective on the issue. For someone like me or someone who uh, respects the Second Amendment or due process, it's silly. <laughs> These are Democrat politicians pushing something that uh, that they're, it requires an uninformed voting base to support the measures that they're putting forward. There were gotcha, measures bitch. put forward by Republicans uh, time and time again. They shoot them down. They don't want gun control. They simply want control. <laughs> However, uh, clearly a lot of those politicians indicated that this was a reaction to what happened in Orlando and a number of other uh, shootings in various public arenas. And clearly there is a growing debate within the United States about what can be done about gun control, particularly automatic weapons. No, no. I, I, I hate to come on your show and correct you, but what you've just said is I entirely false. Um, gotcha, bitch. I'm not saying that you're deliberately saying something false, but you said automatic weapons. Um, respectfully, I, I don't think you know the difference between an automatic weapon or a semi-automatic weapon. Not a single automatic weapon was used in any of these mass shootings. Mass shootings are not on the rise. Gun crime is actually on the decrease. The weapons that were used were semi-automatic weapons, which includes... Any handgun sold really since the year, I don't know, 1950, except for double action revolvers. And uh, the legislation that they propose would not do anything. What they are talking about, these Democrats right now, and I know that people in the UK it, may not understand the history of the Second Amendment or why it's a fundamental right in the United States. A big reason was because we left. Um, it, it's, it's, it's an issue here where these, these people want to use the no-fly list for a litmus test. Well, let me tell you, there are hundreds of thousands of people in the no-fly list in the United States, including Senator Ted Kennedy, Fox News contributor Stephen Hayes. I've known half a dozen people, hundreds of thousands, and the administration themselves have said that maybe one in a hundred have anything to do with terrorism. I do not believe that American citizens who've been accused of no crime, who have not received any due process, should have their basic fundamental human rights stripped away. Let me clarify for people listening. Gun violence is on the decrease. Nobody is out there purchasing automatic weapons. No automatic weapons were used in this shooting. And isn't it interesting that we pivoted from a guy who pledged allegiance to ISIS and went out and killed 49 gay people because they were gay in the name of Islam. We're talking about weapons that were never even used. What a pivot that is. <laughs> Send